Podmoth. Welcome back to the future is bright question mark. I am Lindsay. I'm Bridget. I don't know why it took me so long to get out. I was just like You were going a little bit slow. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. It's just one of those days today. Give, oh yeah. You why. think? I took a nap before this. That's in the shower. I fell asleep in the shower. Okay. So that's cool. That's what actually I do have a bone to pick with my sister. I got home from work early. Nobody knew I was leaving work early. Mm-hmm. But I come home and I am eating lunch. And my one sister is like, oh, I'm going to the outlets. So I was like, oh, okay, who are you going with? Nicole, my uh, other sister. Uh, my Both my sisters and my one sister's boyfriend went to the outlets without So they me. made plans without yeah. you. Yep. And then I, they get home, and they're like, how come you didn't come? I was like, oh, wasn't invited. Wasn't invited. Yep. <laughs> but, I mean, they have an excuse because they thought I was working, but I was still pretty pissed about it. Yeah, but, I mean, you were literally working. Yeah. So. I was supposed to be working until 5, but I got out at 12.45, so. Yeah. They're sad. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, that's the only bone I have to pick. Yeah, I don't really have any bones to pick other than with the government, the chair that broke two yeah. of my toes just now, and mm-hmm. anybody else who wants to fight me. Right. And Bridget- fucking Marty. Marty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that they don't know that we got our first hate mail. Yeah. Which is totally fine because we, like- I was pumped. We requested it. I was literally yeah. like, somebody please send At me shit. At first I was a little hurt, but then I was I like, wasn't. you know what? It's okay. I left. And I rebuttaled and guess what? Marty had nothing to say back. I know. I'm pretty upset though because he made fun of my hiccups. Yeah, he did. Which I didn't even know were my hiccups. <laughs> I didn't Which is rude them. because you thought that they were mine and then it was okay <laughs> that Marty was making fun of my hiccups. <laughs> well, it was your case. And I was like, ah, shit, Marty's just ripping on her, her case, and her hiccups, and then my sister goes, oh, it's so funny, he's ripping on your hiccups, and I was like, wait, what? (laughs) My hiccups? I was genuinely upset. I was like, god damn. My hiccups? I'm sorry? But that's okay, Marty didn't like our our Wayne Gacy case. Wayne Gacy? (laughs) Wow. John Wayne Gacy. Why did I say Wayne? Wayne, you switched the first two letters. It's been a Friday. It's been a Friday. Let Wayne me tell you that. Gacy. It's been a week. So, <laughs> it feels like it's been the longest week of my entire life. Mm-hmm. So, uh, that's why I'm at where I'm at. Um, but yeah, he's in like our John and Gacy case. Yeah. Which is fine. And we're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. So. Yeah, I don't really care, particularly. No. no, not at all. But, it's fine. I left. Right, I left too. At first I was a little perturbed. Then I Ooh, got good word. It. Thank you. That was like an SAT word. Yeah. Didn't do good on my SATs, but I know we're either. Yeah. So, um, but other than that, I don't really have anything going on. Yeah, no, okay. apparently I owe the government $1,000 yeah. because they overpaid me. Right. Which makes no sense. Technically, from what your parents have told me, it is your fault. It's <laughs> not my fault. Because I was claiming unemployment. And you were unemployed. And I was unemployed, <laughs> and they're the ones that paid me. If they didn't want to pay me the money, then they just... Could have been like, oh, you don't get money this week. And I would have been like, okay, bet New York State government. Right. Did you say USA government? New York State. Oh, I thought you said USA government. But they still paid me, so I'm just curious how that's my fucking problem. Yeah, how do you even resolve that issue? Pay them a thousand dollars? You can't dispute it? I mean, I probably can, but do I really want to try and call New York State government? Uh, no, you probably won't get through. I tried to call them once. Didn't get through. Yeah. So. So. Alright, well that's where we're at. I don't have any news. I actually got the Nick stimulus check, so I was very excited yeah, about that. But I didn't. I didn't get the last two times, so. I didn't get them either time. Yeah. You, but you could have claimed it in your taxes. I didn't do my taxes yet. Oh, nice. Because my mom told me not to. Why? I don't know. Oh, okay. Do you do them yourself? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I don't know anything mm-hmm. about taxes. My dad taught me how to do it myself. This year, I'm not, probably not going to know what I'm doing next year, so. I, like, do them through TurboTax, but now I think I'm going to do them through an actual accountant because I don't know with all this unemployment stuff. actual accountant could probably do it through 
probably does it for Probably, but, like, I'd rather him no do one. it because I don't know what to do with right. unemployment My stuff. dad's an accountant. He does it through Turbo, Turbo Pay. Yeah. With, but he doesn't, like... Yeah. He doesn't get paid to do it. He just does no. it with I mean, family. all I know is I'm going to owe a fuck ton of money, yeah. so. My friend, um, owed 3000 because she was on unemployment. Yep. So. Yeah. Which is bullshit because they said that they weren't going to, like, right. tax. Do that. So. Um, okay, well, that's where anyway. we're at with our life. <laughs> I'm mad about it, in case anybody we're comes down. mad about our taxes. Um, this is not sad. We used to be mad about, like, life. boys not noticing us in the lunchroom, and now we're yeah. mad about taxes. I don't like that. No. So mad. Sorry, that was a side note story about that. But, yeah, um, yeah, we're old that we worry about taxes. Yeah, that's I'm kind really of, like, at. over this whole thing, so. <sighs> Me too. I've been thinking about that a lot. I'm over it. I'm just over everything yeah. in general, so. Me too. We're, we need a break. We need a vacation. Yeah. But. Well, I can't pay for my vacation if I owe three thousand dollars right. and plus this thousand right. dollars now that I owe the government. So. Right. So you're down about four thousand. Even though I just booked a vacation. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. And I'm only working two days a week. Right. But at the time of booking your vacation, you did not know that you were right. going to owe this much money. Yes. But I think you'll be okay. I mean, I know that I'm going to be fine. Right. But I'm just like annoyed about you know it. No, I'm working two days a week. Yeah, I only work on the weekends. Oh, shit. I didn't know that. I think I'm going to go back to RPM. I thought you were doing that other thing. What? The, where you go to people's houses. Oh, no, no, not that. No. The tutoring. No. Um, and there's no sub jobs right now. I look every single day. Wow. But I think I'm going to go back to RPM for the summer. Okay. Because, right. like, the, you I'm taking, I am, though. Oh, well, yeah. So, I, I, I have that. school till July 22nd. So, they do, like, a summer camp at the job that I'm at now. Right. And I can do the last, like, three sessions, which is six weeks, Mm -hmm. of the summer camp. Right. But I can't do the first two Uh, because I have school. So, I figure if I can go to RPM, work at RPM at nights for two months because they'll take me because it's Chris. And then I'll just quit and go back to whatever. Okay. Wow. Well, at least you have a plan in mind. Yeah, hopefully that's what will happen. Yeah. I also need to point out that apparently, I think it was a couple episodes ago, I said my cousin's birthday was the wrong day. Really? Yeah. I think I said it was on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, you did. Yeah, but it's actually, actually on the 19th. Oh, you were just a couple so, days off. A couple off. days off. He's apparently the day before my mom's birthday. So, James, I know you're not listening to this, but I'm sorry for messing up your birthday. Didn't you also say your mom's birthday was on St. Patrick's Day? No. Hers was on the 20th. I thought you said that your mom's no. birthday was on St. Patrick's Day. I might say she likes St. Patrick's Day. Maybe. She even, she's not even really a big fan of St. Patrick's Day. I don't remember. I don't remember either, but... <laughs> Alright, well... It's fine. There's that. It's whatever. Um... I, we're switching it up this time around because normally when Bridget and I record, I start first with yeah. the episode, but this time she's starting first and I don't know how to act about it. I'm yeah, like, I feel, like, weird about it. Yeah. But, like, it's like okay. It. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited because I don't know what we're doing. And mine's a bummer anyway, so, like, um, we might as well get this out of the way first. Right, and then I'll find, we'll talk about UFOs. Yeah, exactly. that's what my case is on. So, it's fine. So, we're good. Should oh, I start? They, they did. Yeah, sorry, that I was sucks. watching my college team play, my old college team play, and they lost. But at least now I know that they lost, so I could not have to How much did they lose them. by? By one. Which is oh, that's annoying. Yeah. I hate when that happens. Yes. Yeah. But it's fine. Whatever. It's okay. It's okay. You grow. You learn and you grow. Alright, let's go. Let's do this thing. <laughs> <I'm so excited. laughs> and break. My toes really fucking hurt. Oh yeah, dude. Bridget broke her toes before this. Literally, like, not kidding, five minutes five ago. Five minutes before. We were talking to her dad, and she just sat down on the chair and broke. I her. literally walked directly into yeah. the chair and just slammed and she, like, my fucking toes. Her toes. <laughs> literally, she, like, three of them hurt yeah, so bad. Yeah, paralyzed. That was the word. I didn't want to use the word decapitated. Well, decapitated use... would have meant I chopped them off. Yeah, I wanted to use the word paralyzed, but decap. Whoa. You mm-hmm. had to come out of, came out of my mouth first. Okay. That's so fine, I guess. Yeah. yeah it's fine. Whatever. So we're thriving. Bridget has broken toes. Owes the government $4,000. <laughs> and, and we're off. <laughs> and somebody hates us, so. <laughs> this is all fucking Marty's fault. I'm yep. blaming him for the everything for the rest of my life. I actually like fault. the name Marty, though. I wish... I don't. I, You know, Marty, if you're listening to this one, you might like this one better than the last one. So. Honestly, I hope he is listening to this because he said that we weren't the worst podcast he's ever listened to, which in my book is a win. Right. I'm surprised you didn't say my laugh was annoying. I think that would have hurt my feelings more than him saying <laughs> yeah. my... Uh, that would have hurt my feelings. Because yeah. and... I have an annoying laugh, but he literally was like, that girl's hiccups are classy. And then I was like, I literally cannot control my hiccups. <laughs> 
Like, they just happen. I don't control them. So I apologize that you do not like my hiccups. And he tried to, he tried to question my researching, which is why I answered. Because don't ever question my researching. Like, I I literally did not even get a chance to answer the text before you were like, I sent the email back. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, it's about to go down. Yeah. (laughs) But it's fine. I'll try not to hiccup this case, but I'll... Just for you, Marty. Just for you, Marty. But also, no promises, because I don't remember hiccuping, so... Shout out, Marty. (laughs) We love you. (laughs) You don't love us. Feeling's not mutual, apparently. Maybe one day you will. (laughs) I hope so. Yeah. That's all I want to do, is be loved by Marty. Marty, yeah. I mean... I don't know. He didn't look like a very nice man. You know it's a creepy person when, like, well, I guess you really can't say this, but he has this picture on his email, and mm-hmm. I, I feel like that's yeah. just weird to me. Wouldn't do that. I I have mine for my personal email, but... Right, maybe that was his personal email then, but I guess I can't really say anything. Probably. Alright, well, whatever, sorry. Marty. Anyway. Moving on. Shout out, Marty. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, should I start? Yes, Okay, great. So, I'm just gonna, like, start... And this is going to be a little bit of a roller coaster for I you love that. and for the people, um, okay, people at home. Okay. Um, people at home. <laughs> I'm like fucking Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> for those of you at home, this. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm okay. just going to start. Okay. I, I really hope that you don't know this because I'll be disappointed. Okay. I probably don't. Tyler Hadley. No, I don't. Okay. Good. Also, P.S. My mom bought me a book. Bought us a book. Really? About Long Island murders. So she Ooh. Was like, she was like, oh, you can bring it and look through it and pick out people, would, and then you can research we them. We should do and that. I was going to do it, but I forgot. We should do I that. Because I left my laptop charger. I left it at Bridget's house for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't realize. <laughs> the only one that I know that was on Long Island was, like... She gave me a name to look up. I, or I think, Lisk. Lisk. Long Island serial killer. Yeah. She gave me... I think his name was Angelo... Oh, whoa. My dad? Yeah. Huh? No, not your dad. <laughs> Imagine my oh, dad turned out to be a serial killer. No. That would be pretty cool. That would be terrifying. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to find this real quick before you start. Sorry, I know you were starting and I just like... No, it's fine. Went off on a I'm line. excited about this. I think I actually may know what you're talking about. Oh, what was his name? When did she send this to me? Uh-oh. Let me look. When goes to sleep. Can I search? Documents. See all the links. I don't know. Um. Okay, hold on. I'm still looking. Mm-hmm. I don't think she sent it to me that long ago. And I'm like back f- pretty far. Is Angela something? Um. Let's see. Oh, Richard Angelo. Sorry. Oh, I literally just looked that up. Richard Angelo. Did you? I said serial killer's named Angelo, yeah. and he came up. He's from West Islip. He was a yeah. former nurse. All right, sorry, I'm not going to tell you about that, because I actually was inter- intrigued in... Okay, I'm not going to, like, look anymore at it. He looks kind of scary. Yeah, a little bit. He looks like a classic Long Islander, actually. Yeah. This happened a long-ass time ago, though. Okay. Sorry. Continue. Okay. But yeah, I'm gonna bring the book next time okay. so we can go it and figure it out. I'm into it. Okay. Alright. So, uh, I'll just, we're gonna start now. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I have a little side note story. It's okay. Happened. It's fine. I'm just gonna move it. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I hope you find that uh, classy, Marty. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, okay, so Tyler Hadley was born on December 16th, 1993 to Blake and Mary Jo Hadley. And he was uh, born, like, a preemie, so he was only three pounds okay. when he was born. Right. Um, Blake, his dad, was a watch engineer at a power plant, and Mary Jo, his mom, was an elementary school teacher. Okay. And they lived in Florida. Okay. So you already know this is going to be batshit yeah. crazy it's because Florida. it's Florida. And that is the one reason okay. why I'm so excited to move to Florida. Because <laughs> anything that comes from Florida <laughs> is automatically worse. I don't know about that. Well, true. You're right, you're right. Have you ever done the thing where you look up your birthday and then, like, Florida headline? No. Oh, you should do it. Okay. Go ahead, continue. Yeah. I'm gonna do it Because, like, it's something wacky will come okay. up. Okay. Okay. So, as a child... T- but, 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 as a mm-hmm. child, Tyler's mm-hmm. family <laughs> described him as kept to himself, loving but withdrawn, having anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem. Okay. Me. Uh, he couldn't really hold on to, like, a hobby or a sport. 
he would join a club or like pick up an instrument or something like that and eventually just stop doing it because he felt like he was never on the same level as everybody else. Okay. Um, he was like kind of like that weird kid in class that would just like stand up and like say random things and then just sit back down. Oh. Um, there was one instance where a classmate said that he just got up one day in class and like started mooing like a cow and then just sat back down. Oh. So he was okay. like the one of those so kids. He had issues. Yeah, and then he would also get, like, really, really hyper, and then, like, really, really not. So, like, kind of, like, bipolar, but, like, he wasn't bipolar. Um, when he was, like, a kid, he was being treated with a bunch of medication for, like, acne, uh, depression, and he also took growth hormones. Okay. Um, sorry, I had the hiccups. Oh, Oh, shit, fucking. (laughs) God damn it. It's Bridget Marty. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um, <laughs> um, by, like, middle school or high school, he kind of turned out to be, like, a troublemaker. Okay. He himself said that he would draw on bathroom stalls, paint people's cars, break windows, steal things, the list goes on and on. Um, he started hanging out with the wrong crowd or, like, not, like, a good crowd. Right. Um, and he and his friends would get drunk, smoke weed, and, like, take pills oh. as well as, like, do other drugs. Right. So, Blake and Mary Jo were, like, strict, but they weren't, like, like too strict. Too strict okay. Like, to the point where they had, like, a bad relationship. Okay. So, according to Tyler's friends, he and his mom were, like, pretty close. Um, and, like, as close as, like, any, like, right. mom and son could be. Mm-hmm. Uh, his dad and him had, like, a classic, like, father-son relationship. They would play basketball in the driveway. They would play catch. Like, they, they were, were like, all. they were all good. Mm-hmm. Um... As he got older, however, his personality started to change, and it was noticeable by his friends, family, and people around him. Uh, so the parents of a child, like a different kid in, like, his class, okay. told Mary Jo that Tyler was caught smoking pot, and Mary Jo was like, mm, not, not my son. My, yeah. Not okay. my son, homie. Of course. Um, and, like, he's not that, like, kind of kid, and then the mom was like, but, like, no, like, I saw him. Right. And then she was like, well, you know, like, that's, sh- he's just Tyler, like, so, oh, like, okay. okay. Um, so, like, I don't know if she was, like, just, like, in denial that right. he was smoking or that, like, she was just, just, like, whatever. Like, I don't right. care. Um, because, like, it's pot. What is that going right. to do? Yeah. Um, uh, but then, like, a few days after that, Tyler and his friends decided that they were just going to, like, set the woods on fire. Oh, Because, right. like, what else set do you do okay. when you're a teenager? Right. Just set things on fire. Wonderful. Um, and then not too long after that incident, he got into a fight as a, at a party, and he got arrested for battery. Oh. And he had spent one week in, like, the local jail, and he was on two weeks of house arrest. Oh, wow. And his parents were, like, disappointed, of obviously. Course, yeah. Um, but Tyler did say that he felt bad about the whole situation, and he felt bad that he disappointed his okay. parents. So, like... Makes sense. He, like, felt bad about it. Had feelings. Right. Exactly. Okay. So, not too long after that, he got off house arrest. Mm -hmm. He was getting, like, super drunk, like, constantly, and Mary Jo, so his mom, took Mm -hmm. matters into her own hands and tried to help her son. So, in the state of Florida, they have what's called the Baker Act, which states that if you're under the age of 18, your parents can, like, force you to go, like, to a psych center. Yeah. And, like, get like, help or whatever, and if there's reason to believe that they think they're gonna harm themselves or be a harm to other people, Mm -hmm. and his mom didn't think that he was gonna hurt anybody else. He just, she thought that, like, he was gonna try and kill himself himself. or something. Um, so, he was admitted to a psych facility, and after he was admitted to the psych facility, people around him, like, his friends at school and stuff, said that he seemed to be, like, pretty much, like, back to normal. Oh, okay. Um... One weekend, his family went to go see, like, their grandfather, and his grandfather was like, yeah, like, he seems, like, perfectly chill and fine to me, so. On July 15th, 2011, after having dinner with his parents, Tyler ran into his friend, like, one of his friends, Mm -hmm. and they had, like, regular old, like, boy conversation, and Tyler invited his friend to a party that he was having the next day, and the friend was like, yeah, cool, bet. Um, 
so the party becomes important. It's actually the most important thing. Nice. So I'm just gonna like back up slightly. Okay. So we're at the day before the party. We're backing up to like two weeks before okay. the party. Got it. Um, so in the weeks, hold on, let me just like flip this. Okay. So in the weeks leading up to the party, he was telling his friends that he was having a party, like, constantly. But his friends were, like, kind of, like, weirded out and surprised that he was having a party because he, A, wasn't the type of kid that would have parties. Right. And B, wasn't the type of kid that would be allowed to have parties at his house. Okay. So they would ask him, like, yo, like, are you still having the party? And he'd be like, yeah, I'm working on it. Right. So, um. Oh, God. So, that's weird permission about what this party was oh boy okay so tyler when he was on house arrest so this was like two weeks before Before, the party um his mom took his phone away because like punishment right um and the only way he was able to communicate with people was on facebook so he messaged like a couple of his friends like about this party situation and he messaged one of his friends like right when he got on house arrest Mm -hmm. named isadora which, like, kind of a cool name. I kind of like that, yeah. Kind of a weird name, but I'm kind is of into it. Man or... I think it's a girl. Okay, I like that name. Um, and this is, like, right, like I said, when he got put on house arrest. So I'm going to read the conversation. Oh, okay. So he, like, messaged her and goes, don't text me about drugs. And she goes, what happened? Oh, God. <laughs> and his mom, I mean, and he goes, my mom has it because I got arrested on Monday and she's flipping shit. I just got out today. And then she goes, oh shit. And he goes, in all caps, fucking shit sucked with, like, a bunch of Ks. Okay. Um, this, the texting that this kid does, let me tell you. Is I would have like, to, like, uh, like, like y- you for you's are, uh, ugh, whatever. Yeah. So then she goes, you bad, kid. <laughs> and Tyler goes, just kidding, it's a pirate's life for me. And she's like, what the fuck are you talking yeah, about? What? And then he goes, okay, I'm done with the nautical nonsense. Bitch, what? <laughs> I don't know. Is he on drugs yeah, there? Probably. <laughs> like, what? And then she, like, put, like, a smiley face. And then she goes, you're so silly, what are you doing? And then he goes, nothing, considering suicide. Oh, wow. And she goes, why? And he goes, um, because I want to die, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. And then she goes, are you being serious? And he goes, yeah, I do want to die sometimes. And she goes, don't die with a bunch of, like, eyes and die. Oh. And then goes, smoke a bowl whenever you're down. Oh, okay. That's a good way to... <laughs> really good that's advice. That's a good way to cure your depression. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's really sick advice, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, and then Tyler goes, I used to, now I drink a lot when I'm depressed. It feels the emptiness inside of that me. That is really a good way to cope. And yeah. she goes, you're quite the character. And he goes, yes, but all my smiles are fake. Oh my god, that's so sad. Yeah, but, like, she was not helpful. Yeah, Like, no. not even in the slightest. No. Um, so he also messaged, um, his friend Mercedes, oh, which I fucking hate oh, that name, by okay. the way. I hate that name, sorry. Oh, do you like Is that name? coming down to say hello? Oh, no, it's... Oh gosh, hello. Hi. Did you get Chick-fil-A? Yeah. Did you get no. Sorry. I was wondering what, if we were getting him anything. I didn't think about it, honestly. I'm glad, I'm glad I thought you were here. <laughs> I didn't send my own sister. You weren't home, so I didn't think about it. I thought it. you were here in the yeah. room. Fuck you. <laughs> Are you going to practice Sorry. shotgunning again? Is that what's happening? You want me to? <laughs> no. I'm just like, please, for the love of God, no, not again. I just thought that maybe it was on your plan. No, not, not today. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so, so he spoke to a Mercedes. Okay. We don't like that name. I don't like no. that name. Do you like that name? Uh, no. Okay. Not Are you a sure? Fan. Yeah, no, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. I didn't want to, like, influence your, like, no, name liking. No, I name a child. Me either. Mercedes. No, me either. No. Um, so they were also talking about how his mom took his phone away, and right. there's no, like, beginning to this conversation. There's okay. only, like, a couple lines that I found. Okay. But this is what was said. Mm-hmm. So Tyler goes, LOL, yup, she's a cunt, for show. I might kill her. Oh, okay. Yeah, and for show was like F-A and then S-O-A-S-H-O. I love that. Yeah. 
And then she goes, OMG, no, jail. Or I mean, prison, lol. Isn't that the same thing? No. Okay, prison, right, true. She was right in fixing herself. Yes. Because prison is for the worst. Correct. Got it. And then he goes, oh well, with like a heart. But like the old heart with the three and then the, the less Got than it. sign. Mm-hmm. So less than sign? Greater than sign. Greater than sign. No. Greater than sign. Greater than sign. Yeah, yeah. right. Sorry, I'm really confused. It's okay. Anyway, so that conversation happened. Got it. So another one of his friends, Mark, said that he was hanging out with Tyler a couple days before the party. Okay. And Tyler, like, in the middle of this normal conversation that they were having, mm-hmm. just goes, quote, I want to kill my parents and have a big party after. Oh, nobody, shit. <laughs> nobody has ever done that before. Throw a huge party with the bodies still in the house. And nobody thought a day before that this is strange? Apparently not. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So. Got it. Um, I don't know if you know where this is going. I do. <laughs> yeah. But. This wasn't my permission. My permission in my head. Is that the right word? Premonition. Pre- okay, same thing. I'm not going to be able to say that. It's okay. So, my. Pre- Premonition. Was, yeah. Was that he was going to bring all these people to their house. Uh-huh. And then, like, just, like, bazooka shoot. Oh, them, just, like, kill all, all of them? Yeah. yeah. No. That honestly may have been better than what he did. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so the morning of the party. Which was July 16th, 2011. Okay. He talked to two more of his friends. So he's just, like, telling people at this right, point. so they know. Yeah. Okay. That he's saying it. Not that, like, he's going to. Like, because he never is know. like, oh, I killed my parents. Right. Come to my party, homie. Right. But. Oh. So he talked to his friend Antonio. And this was that conversation. Okay. So he goes, Tyler goes, sup, brah. Remember 2011? 2011. <laughs> <laughs> we both said at the same time. Yeah. Um, Antonio goes, chillin', what you doing tonight? Um, Tyler goes, trying to have a party at my crib. He goes, your parents aren't home? And Tyler goes, nope, well, they're leaving soon. Okay. So at this point, he didn't kill his parents All yet. Right. See, I wouldn't take that as weird, though. I'd be like, okay, they're just going out. Yeah, they're going right. out. Right. Right. Um, so then, after this conversation, he posted on Facebook, like, like, you know, like, party at my house tonight, mm-hmm. like, whatever, and it's like, party at my crib tonight, dot, 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 maybe. Oh. So he just doesn't know if he's gonna pull the trigger. Yeah. Um, and it, after that message went out, his friend, um, Ashley messaged him and was like, whoa, like, what if your parents come home? Mm-hmm. And he was like, quote, they won't trust me. Okay. So. All right. Um, that morning he also had a conversation with his friend Matt, and I assume that he told Matt he was gonna kill his parents, because the conversation just started, and with Matt going, did you do it? Oh. And then Tyler goes, no, but I'm gonna. And then Matt goes, bet, you should really do it now. And then Tyler goes, don't worry, I am, then I'm having a party. And Matt goes, yeah, party time, N-word. What the fuck? Yeah. If you ever came up to me and said, <laughs> I'm gonna kill my parents, I would not say, did you do it? Party time. Like, what? Yeah. I would question that a little bit. Yeah. Even if you say, sometimes now, if you say the stupidest things to yeah. me, I'm like, did you actually do that? Like, are you sure? Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, and just, like, nobody said anything. Right. He asked if he did it. Yeah. What? Yeah. Like, are you kidding? And, like, I get that, like, this wasn't a great group of kids, but, like... Still. Still. Like, come on. That's yeah. your parents. Like, come on, homie. Like, the think fuck? a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So, that night, he, um, not... Yeah, like, that night. Because the party didn't happen until, like, 11 o'clock at night. Oh, God. I would be in bed. Okay. Same. Um, so that night, before the party, he went to an ATM and took out about $5,000 of his parents' money. How the fuck can you take $5,000 out of an ATM? You can do that? Yeah, I think so. I think that's the most that you can take out of an ATM. I don't know. I don't have that much money. I think. Me either. Um, me either, but I have to pay more than half of it (laughs) to the fucking government. (laughs) Um, and he also picked up, like, a couple of his friends. Okay. So the party ended up happening at around, like I said, 11 p.m. on the night of the 16th. Um, and these are all, like, 16, 17-year-old kids. Right. Like, they were all in high school. Right. 
Uh, so it was clear that people were drinking and doing drugs, like, probably, like, you know, like, ecstasy or some of shit like that. Kids, young kids, yeah. Um, when this kid named Mike showed up, he remembered the only thing Tyler had said to him when he showed up to the party was, quote, don't smoke in the house, it's my parents' house. Oh. So he's still trying to claim that they're alive. Yeah. Okay. Apparently. Interesting. And by the way, like, his parents' cars are, like, still in the driveway. Oh, so nobody thinks that's weird? That wasn't the time of Uber. It's not like no. it took an Uber. And, like, I'll, like, mention it later, but he, like, told a bunch of people that, like, his parents, like, went away places. Right. But their cars are... What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. So there were, like, 60 people at the house at this point, and oh, most of these kids had never met or seen Tyler in their okay, entire it's lives. Like a big house party, then. Yeah. So the kids, like, destroyed the house. They were, like, wow. eating the food, putting out cigarettes on the carpet, breaking things, like, huge, like, shit show, like, Project uh-huh. X-style right. party. Um, a bunch of people were playing beer pong by, like, the family's computer, like, area, mm-hmm. which, like, obviously it's a party you're gonna play yeah. beer pong. Yeah. So Mike went to, like, change the song on YouTube that was playing on the computer <laughs> and noticed that there was a tacky brown substance on the keyboard which he just assumed was, like, Coke or beer. Because, like, oh. it that's, what? you're at a party, you're not gonna go, oh, that's blood. blood. Like, right. it's if it's brown, you're gonna think it's, like, right. soda or something. Um, so he just was like, oh, weird, gross, whatever, and then walked away. Uh, okay. Um, and people were, like, still surprised that this party was even happening. Mm-hmm. Um, because he wasn't, again, the right. type of kid that would have a party. And someone even said he must have killed his parents or something. Like, joking. Why was that the- why is that the first thing that people think about? I don't know. What the fuck? Yeah, I know. Um, so, people were, like, starting to be like, okay, but no, like, really, where are your right, parents? Right. Like, like, where'd they go? Yeah. So, he told one kid named Mark that they went to Georgia, another kid, Ryan, that they went to Orlando, and another kid, Rich, that they didn't live in the house, this is my house. Okay. Like, right. So, lying through his Like, overdramatic everything. much? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, at this point, there's, like, a hundred people in the house now, nice. wow. and they started to run out of beer. It's a big-ass party. Yeah, it's huge. And the house was yeah. not big. Really? Yeah. So. Wait, can we pause? I really have to pee. Yes. I'm so sorry. I don't know why. I'm ready. Okay. Um. hundred people at the party. Is that where we were at? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. Because yeah. I forgot. As I was sitting in the bathroom, I was, that's A hundred people, hundred people. So that I knew though, where we were at. <laughs> yeah. So, there's, like, a hundred people at this party. They started to run out of beer. They, like, went out, got beer. Okay. And then... How old are they at this point? Like, 16 or 17. Okay, so they're not able to buy beer. No. They're it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did you Did you read the silence in the room for that, or...? <laughs> Yeah, so, like, kids, like, kept showing up, too. Like, like it didn't stop. And at this point, probably, right. like, 1 o'clock in the morning. Like, it's, like, not, right. like, early. Um, so this kid, Anthony, noticed that the house was, like, kind of dark. Okay. Because Tyler wanted to keep the lights off. Ambiance. I guess. Is that, right. how, is that what happens at parties? Don't know. Me Never either. Never been to a 100 people party. <laughs> Me either. Life. Pre-COVID. Um, Still would never do that. I went to the one party, I don't know if you remember, but when, uh, I shouldn't say his whole name, but I'll say his last name, Stam had his party. Okay. And they called it Project Stam. Mm-hmm. I went there for about ten minutes and left because I was like, I'm not being a part yeah. of this. No. I watched some kid run through a screen door and I was like, I'm out. <laughs> oh, that would cause me so much yeah. anxiety. I was like, I'm gone, goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Have a good night. Wow. But anyway, that's what this reminded me of, kind right. of. Okay, so it seems like Project yeah. X type of yeah. party. Um, but this kid, Anthony, who noticed that the house was dark... Noticed a dark black or brown smear of something on the door outside of the master bedroom. Oh. But just, like, was, just... was like, whatever. Okay, that's oh, weird. Okay. Um, so at this point, it's, like, like I said, like, fucking 1 a.m. Right. And people were still coming. Okay. And one kid that came noticed that the house smelled so bad of, like, God knows fucking what. Um. Oh, God. But he was, like, 
there's a party where there's like a hundred plus people right. like Obviously. Who the fuck knows what, like, right. gross people are in this house. Yeah. So, like, he didn't think about it that right, hard. of course. Um, but he went to play beer pong, as one does during right. parties. Mm, yeah. Um, and the ball, they were playing, and the ball rolled underneath the table, and it got stuck in a sticky brown oh, substance on. that was by the computer, but they were just like, okay, like, it's probably Coke or beer or something, and just picked it up. Washed it off and continued to play with it. Oh my god. Which means that they were... Like, they were partying on an evidence, a crime. Scene. Literally, yeah. 100%. But it also means that they were using that ping pong that had blood in it, and then throwing it in the beer things, oh, and, and then... Oh, I forgot that that's how you actually play beer Drinking pong. the beer. Because when I played with my friends, like, we would only use water. And you drink on the side. Yeah. Yeah, no, but in 2011, I would assume they're not, they didn't figure out that they could do that with beer pong yet, and they were throwing oh, it in... God. Like, the beer cups. Yeah. So that's gross. Wow. Um, so now, like, people started to, like, be like, alright, I'm gonna, like, go right. home, like, slowly, but surely. Right. God damn it. Are you okay? I lost my earring back. Oh. This is such a big problem of mine with earrings. I, I do always that. lose the back. I do that, Sorry, too. you can continue. I will probably find it later. You probably. When you get up, you probably oh, I found it. Oh, okay. there you go. There you go. You that can works. continue. Um... So, a couple people had some weird interactions with Tyler as they okay. left. Okay. So, this one kid, Ricardo, didn't know Tyler, but thanked him for the party. Nice. Very and for nice the beer and stuff. Yeah, like, good guy. Nice. Okay. Um, and as he was, um, as he was leaving, he, like, thanked him and whatever. Mm-hmm. And Tyler was like, I wanted to do something fun before I left. And this guy was like, oh, like, where are you going, going, champ? Um, and he goes, quote, I'm going to kill myself. <gasps> And he was like, I don't know who the fuck you are, yeah. but, like, why, bud? And Tyler was like, I did something really bad. And the kid goes, like, what did you do? Like, it can't be that bad. Like, right. And he goes, don't worry. If I get caught, I'll be in jail for a long time. And the kid was like, okay, bye. Oh, shit. <laughs> and nobody thought that was weird. Uh, apparently not. Okay. Um, so Tyler's friend Mark was like, all right, like, gonna leave. And Tyler stopped him and was like, I have to talk to you. And Tyler said to Mark, quote, dude, I did some things. I might go to prison. I might go away for life. I don't know, dude. I'm freaking out right now. And Mark was like, the fuck are you talking about? Right. And Tyler goes, I freaking killed somebody. And Mark <laughs> Mark goes, quote, you ca- killing somebody is your own business. Don't oh! tell me that. <laughs> no fucking way. And left. Way. If any one of my friends, if it was you, and you told me I killed someone, I'm like, alright, let's go to police department right now. I'm like, what the fuck? He was just like, bro, not my fucking problem. Like, don't care, leave me oh out of it. Oh my god. Yeah. Shit. He was like, I don't want to know about it, I didn't hear that you did that, goodbye, adios. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Tyler asked another kid who was, like, his actual best friend, like, like, known since they were kids' best friend. His name was Michael Mandel, Mm -hmm. if he could talk to him outside, because at this point, Tyler's, like, starting to crack, like, about- This kid is, like, our age. Were we 2006? Were we 11 and- Whoa. (laughs) (laughs) We were not even close to 16 in 2011. We graduated high school in 2015. Okay, sorry. We were, like, 13. Oh, he's 1993. What am I thinking? Sorry, yeah. continue. <laughs> sorry. Um, so, Tyler, like, flat out says to this kid, like, I killed my parents. Okay. And he was, like, this kid, Michael, was, like, yeah, okay, like, right. sure, I, yeah. champ, like. That's the first thing I would say. Yeah, he was, like, yeah, it. sure, yeah. like, okay. whatever. And Tyler goes, quote, Michael, I'm being real. I'm not lying. If you look closely enough, you can see the signs. And Michael took, I mean, and Tyler took Michael into the garage and showed him a bloody shoe print. Oh. And Michael was like, okay, but like, is like, I don't believe you still. Right. Like, what is this? And he goes, you need to show me the bodies if I'm going to take you seriously. So Tyler was like, bet. bet. <laughs> And Tyler took him into the master bedroom. He opened the door, and there was blood everywhere. Oh, On the God. floors, there was towels full of blood, sheets full of blood, and just a pile of stuff in the middle of the room, which I'll get to in a second. Okay. But at the bottom of the pile of stuff, it, he saw a leg. 
which was Blake's leg. Oh, shit. So, this is when Tyler told Michael, like, exactly what happened. Okay. So, this is what happened. Nice. Love that. So, the same day of the party, he, like, prepared to kill his parents, which is so fucked up. Yeah. By taking and hiding their cell phones so they couldn't call anybody. Wow. For help. That was premeditated, if oh, I ever believed that. Yeah, okay. if you've ever seen it, that's yeah. it. Okay. Um, he took three pills of ecstasy oh. and listened to rap music to hype himself up. Shit. And because he didn't think that he could do it if he was sober. Um, so around 5 p.m., he stood behind his mother, who was on their family's computer at the time, which mm-hmm. would explain the blood on the computer. Mm-hmm. He took a claw hammer that he had found and hit her in the back of the head with the hammer And she screamed, why, over and over again. His father, who was home, heard his mother screaming and went to go see what happened. And he ran into the room and, like, locked eyes with his son, who had just hit his... like... Yeah, and, like, who just, like, hit his mother over the head with a fucking hammer. And all he said to Tyler was, why? And all Tyler had to say to him was, why the fuck not? And then started hitting his father with the hammer. Oh, my God. And just kept repeating, why the fuck not, over and over again. Oh, as shit. he was killing okay. his parents. Wow. So, he beat his father in the head and face with the hammer as well. Okay. Both of his parents were dead, obviously. Right. He wrapped their heads in towels and dragged them into the master bedroom. Okay. He used... Like, a lot of stuff to try and clean up the blood, and apparently it took him, like, three hours to, like, clean everything up. Oh, my God. And he- anything that he used to clean it, or anything that he- like, that there was blood on- Right. He, like, put into the master bedroom. Which, oh, like, it took you three why. hours to clean, but, like, you didn't even do a good job yeah. because there was still blood on other stuff. What the fuck? So, some things that had blood on it that were in the pile of stuff was- Kitchen chairs, oh my God. books, dishes, glasses, a coffee table, and a can of coffee grounds, which he had used to try and clean up the blood off of the computer. That's an interesting tactic. Yeah. I soak it up, maybe, yeah. with the coffee? I don't know. Okay. But you can, like, look up pictures. I'm looking right And now, there's, you can see pictures of, like, the bedroom yeah. with all the shit in it. Yeah. Um, so... I'm actually looking at the picture he took at his killer party. Oh, yeah, I get to that in a second. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. Sorry. Um, so then he told Michael that he took a shower because, like, obviously after you kill somebody, you have to shower. Yeah. Um, and he looked at himself in the mirror <laughs> and just laughed. Oh, so he was batshit crazy. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Little crazy. He told Michael that the devil had possessed him and that if he got caught, he would commit suicide. Okay. So, Michael was like, okay. Right. Uh, Michael didn't leave the party right away, which, like, I don't understand why. He stayed for, like, an hour after he, like, told him all of this, and they did take a selfie together, which- Oh my god, no way! Is that picture that you just looked up, it was after that Michael knew about the killing situation. Why the fuck? And I'll post it on Instagram. Yeah. Um, it's like, my, it's Michael and Tyler standing in the house. Tyler's holding the orange cup, so that's Tyler. This kid, he looks like somebody I used to be friends with. Really? Yeah. And they're just, like, kind of, like, broing it out. Like, they're yeah. just, like, look like bros. The fuck? Yeah. So, Michael was asked, like, why the fuck did you take a picture yeah. with this kid? Like, after he just told you that he killed his parents? Yeah. Um... And he was like, we were best friends. And he was like, I didn't know what to do. But he was like, I knew that it was going to be the last time that I was seeing this kid. And I wanted, like, one last picture with him. Because, like, he knew. Right. And, um, I mean, like, I get, like, okay. Like, that's weird. Okay, but, but like, mm, yeah. Yeah. Probably wouldn't do that. Exactly. So... At around 2 a.m., there was, like, 20 to 30 people left at the house. God damn. And the cops showed up, but not for the reason that you think. So they showed up, and Tyler, like, I was like, everybody, like, shut the fuck up. Opened the door, and the cops were like, "Mm, we got a noise complaint from your next-door neighbor. Um, Can you, like, shut the fuck up? Yeah. Tyler was like, yeah, no problem, champ. Like, you got it, pal. No problem. We're gonna shut up. And the cops just left. Oh, shit. Yeah. 
See, that's why I thought they came. I didn't think they knew about the murder. Yeah, no, they didn't. Not yet. Oh, shit. So, at around 2.30, people started coming back to the house, which, like, why? I'm my second REM sleep cycle at 2.30 a.m. <laughs> like, there's no way. We are like, so deep in the sleep right now. Like, I can't even function. There's no way. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so... They started to notice now, when they came back, that Tyler was acting, like, really weird. Yeah, because he was off of the ecstasy that he was on for <laughs> fucking 24 yeah. hours. And at one point, some kid said that Tyler was just standing in the dark in the kitchen making a sandwich. Me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Solid. Um, so around 4 a.m., okay. Tyler posted on Facebook again that there was a party at his place. So he wanted to, like, Bitch, continue this shit, yeah. like, all night long. Damn. Um, yeah. So, Michael... Okay. ...actually wasn't, like, just so some weirdo that took a picture with him after he right. told him that. Okay. He's the one that called the cops. Oh, nice. Okay, good job, Michael. Yeah, so he called the Crime Stoppers line and okay. told them exactly what Michael told them. I mean, what, uh, Tyler and told them. And what him. he saw, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so the officers were dispatched to, dispatched to his house, right. and they noticed when they got there that Tyler's parents' cars were still in the driveway, right. and they also noticed that there was nobody in the house besides Tyler, so everybody had left at this point, okay. and this was probably around, like, five, four or five a.m., okay. um, but they could see Tyler in the window, like, pacing back and forth and talking to himself, oh, okay. and apparently he wasn't just, like, pacing he was, like, taking books, walking them into the bedroom, and then walking out, taking more books, and then walking to them into the bedroom, assuming oh, that he was, like, trying to bury his parents right. more, which, like, doesn't make any sense, no. but whatever. Or he, like, saw blood on the books or something. Yeah. So, the officers knocked on the door, and Tyler an answered, and just hand they handcuffed him right away in the driveway, oh, like, shit. point blank. was like, okay. Yeah. And Tyler was, like... Just take me away, I know I'm going to jail. And the cops were like, that's not how this fucking works. Right. Like, we have to go inside, like, right. and see what's up. And Tyler was just screaming, like, you can't go in there. And the cops were like, the fuck well, do you mean you like, can't go yeah. in? Like, we could go wherever the fuck we right. want. Um, as they started searching the house, they obviously found the bodies of Mary Jo and Blake Hadley. They also found drugs for anxiety, depression, and other, mm -hmm. like, party drugs. Right. Um... In court, he tried to say that he was possessed, he heard voices, the good old insanity plea. Right. Um, the plea did not work. He pled not guilty, which, like... Because of insa reason of insanity? Or? I don't know, he just pled not guilty. Okay. Even though he literally admitted it to it, right. to, like, five different people. Hmm. Um, so in 2014, Tyler was sentenced to two life sentences in prison without the possibility of parole. But Florida overturned that ruling because apparently the court didn't, quote, consider the correct alternatives to a life sentence Which because be... he was underage. Okay. I don't know what the fuck that would be. Yeah. Maybe, like, a psych thing, but I don't fucking know. I mean, let's be honest. Yes, we know he's batshit crazy, but, like... Yeah. Mm, I don't know what the alternatives would, yeah. there would be, but whatever. Um, but it didn't really matter because in 2018, the judge upheld the ruling and mm -hmm. called the act brutal, heinous, and premeditated. Nice. Okay. Um, so he had a brother named Ryan, mm -hmm. who was 23 yeah, at the where time. Yeah, was Ryan at the time? Oh, he was just he was he, he went, he was, uh, in college, I oh, believe. Okay. okay. He wasn't home, like, at all. Okay. That makes um, sense. Um, he was happy with the decision that the court made and just wanted to basically, like, move on, right, like, from course. all of this. He went to go visit Tyler in jail to get some answers because apparently Tyler had told a lot of lies about his parents. Oh. He said that his dad wasn't his real dad and his dad pressured him a lot, which is why, like, he did what he did, but that wasn't true. He looks just like his dad. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, it wasn't true at right. all. Um, but the reason that Ryan- this is, like, really, like, sad and, like, but nice. The reason that Tyler went to go visit- Ryan I'm sorry. Went to go visit yeah, Tyler. that Ryan went to go visit Tyler- mm -hmm. Is because he said that he knew his parents wouldn't want their son to be abandoned in jail. So he went because he knew his mom and dad right. wouldn't want well, them yeah. to just, like, leave him in jail with nobody. That's sad. Yeah. So, like, that, I don't know, like, that just made me, like, yeah. feel weird. Because it was, like, this is the kid that killed your parents. Right. Your, he, like, and his mom and dad. Mm -hmm. But, like, he knows that, like, he knows that his he, parents would want him to. Yeah. 
I'm looking up pictures of him right now, too, but... Um, so apparently in jail, Tyler was, like, some, like, fucking hot shot. Um, of course. And he, like, deadass signed autographs for inmates. And he would sign it hammer time. Oh, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah. What the fuck? And he would get, like, fan mail. And, like, sign stuff. People are batshit. Yeah. And one inmate... This is on my last point. Uh, yeah. One inmate said that Tyler told him he had planned the murder for three weeks before it happened. And Tyler told the inmate, quote, you should have come to the party. It was awesome. Oh my god. Yeah. So, isn't that fucked up? Yeah, I'm like, I can't really, like, in my head I have two things going. Yeah. Like, number one, that's fucked up beyond belief. Yeah. But number two, like, what a, like, that's smart. To throw a party on the crime scene. Mm Mm-hmm. Because it gets rid of all of the, I mean, obviously everyone knew because he fucking didn't plan it well. He told everybody. He didn't plan it well, but if he did plan it well, that's, like, the perfect yeah. plan. If you could have gotten rid of the bodies. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously that and didn't tell people maybe four times the entire <laughs> night that yeah. you killed someone. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've never heard that case. Yeah, I heard it on Morbid, actually. Oh, shit. It was, like, you? a while ago. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Florida's fucked up to state. Yeah. They're so weird down there. And he doesn't even look weird. Like, looking at pictures yeah. of him, he looks like a normal kid. He looks like a normal kid. kid, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And, like, him and his parents didn't have, like, a bad right. relationship. Ter- he was just a bad kid. He just happened to get arrested, and yeah. his mom took away his phone, and apparently he got butthurt about it. Wow. Damn. And he's still in jail, obviously, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he the, the judge upheld the life sentence, even though he was 17, so. Okay. That's good. So, yeah. Wow. Pretty crazy okay. shit. Okay. Well, that was, that was crazy. Yeah. That one I thought was, like, very, like, yeah. interesting. And not, like, one that a lot of people know about. I don't think so. No, I, I didn't hear it, which is, like, crazy to me, because, like, I, I listen to a lot, so I'm, like, yeah. surprised that I didn't hear it. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. I'm Fucked looking up. at all these, I just don't know why I just decided to, like, look at the, um, the downloads for our podcast. Uh-huh. John Wayne Gacy's still doing pretty good. He's yeah. At 44. Pretty okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I got for you, right? That's all I got for you. Yeah, that's true. I, I see, I You haven't gotten yet. To, yeah. <laughs> wow, that took a lot out of me. Yeah. I'm pretty sad. For yeah, him. I told you it was a bummer. I'm also kind of sad that the brother had no idea that this was happening. Like, those, he wasn't even his there. His friends yeah. are some fucked up people. Oh, his friends need to, like... Like, how did his yeah. friends not tell his brother, like, hey... How did his friends weird shit, not, like, like, say anything yeah, to anybody? anybody. Right. Except like, even for two Michael. weeks before. Yeah. You could be like, hey, your brother's talking some weird shit right now. Yeah. Like, I don't really know... Yeah. What's going or, on? Or, like, some of them was, like, maybe, like, when, t- like, Tyler was, like, hey, I'm gonna kill my parents, that kid that he, m- Matt, right. or whatever, should have been, like, hey, maybe don't. Maybe don't. Right. Maybe there's no reason to Yeah, do like, that. maybe, like, don't do that right now. Right. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah, and he, like, brutally killed yeah, them. Yeah, like, like, there was no, like, hey, I'm sorry for this. Yeah, no. Let me just hammer you a couple yeah, more No, times. there was, like, a... Wow. Yeah. And, like, to plan it three weeks before. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, so stupid. Wow. Wow. Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Good shit. Well, well. Don't kill your parents, everyone. Moral of the story, definitely don't kill your parents. Yeah, don't. And if you're going to, maybe don't tell nine people beforehand. Right. Oh, uh, I would just... Well, I mean, even if, like, they did, they could tell nine people beforehand, because clearly these fucking idiots yeah. didn't do anything about right. it, so it doesn't matter. I didn't believe him. But I would probably just stick to the not killing your parents. Yeah, no, for sure stick to the first part. Right. And yeah. then maybe the second and third part could be, like, just don't tell anyone. Yeah. But if you are, it is not a bad idea to throw a party on top of a crime scene. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that... As long as you get away with it, which apparently in 2011, all these people were fucking idiots. Clearly. Because <laughs> there's no way. I just don't understand how nobody... Because, like, it's a party. Right. So, like, my thing is, is that, like, how did nobody go into the master right, bedroom. that's the other thing. Unless it was locked. Like, right. But, like, you usually doors lock from the yeah. inside on bedrooms. Yeah. So, like, how did you... Do that. ...not walk into the bedroom? Because, yeah. like, at parties, I assume that, like, you could tell people, like, this room's off limits, but, like... Nobody's gonna listen. Nobody's gonna fucking right. listen. Especially, Especially 100, 100 Yeah, exactly. A hundred people. That's true. I didn't think of that. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah. So, like, that's weird to me. Yeah. That, like, nobody... What if somebody did walk in and they are like, oh, fuck, don't know They were like, oh, there's a here. pile of, there's a fucking uh, coffee table like, in here, goodbye. Like, they took one look, they opened the door, took one look, and they're like, okay. Closes close it slowly, one. Yeah. leaves the party. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. I don't know, but... Wow. All right. Yeah. Well, don't kill your parents is the premise of the story. Yeah. Um, all right, that's... I mean, that's it. I think we should just leave it on that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, follow us on Instagram. FIB Podcast. Hit us up on Facebook. Future is Bright Pod. Um, send us a nice email. Yeah, well, I'll take a nice one. Yeah, this one needs, deserves a nice yeah, one. Yeah, futureisbrightpod at gmail.com. And I think that's all we got, right? That's the only things. That's all I got. Still working on the stickers. Yeah. <sighs> <It's> <laughs> such a hard task. Yeah. But, um, that's it. On a dark night, you make a wrong turn on the highway and find yourself alone on a country road. You are unnerved, but the road is too narrow to turn around. As your tires crunch over the gravel, you turn the radio up to calm your nerves, and all you find is static. As you reach the end of the dial, you stumble upon a show you, nor almost anyone, has ever heard. Congratulations, you've stumbled upon the lost signal, a midnight sanctuary of terrifying audio plays to chill and fulfill. Find us on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you get your podcasts.